Stem Cell Therapy for Autism in Austria, A Boy's Journey of Hope and Improvement Among the people whom I admire the most are the parents of autistic children. They travel around the world to find the best treatment for their children and spend all their money to obtain a cure. Among those brave parents is one mother who is really special. Her son was one of our first patients with autism spectrum disorder. He was the prototype of an open autistic child. When he came into my office with his mother, he had scribbled on all the walls within seconds. Before we could stop him, he was screaming and running around. But there was something else very special about him. He loved to play with the cubicle and could put it in order within one minute from any given situation. He had some more games which you might expect in a circus or magic mystery show. He had a total of three treatments. When he started to play the piano and go to an ordinary school, the family came from Slovenia. The father had left the family unable to stand the situation with the boy. The mother, left alone, raised the money for the treatment in the most incredible ways. There was a marathon run in Slovenia raising money for the boy, several TV shows, and it looked like the whole of Slovenia supported the boy. But then she asked the insurance to cover the costs of the treatment, and they declined. The mother went to court and obtained victory in the first round and also before the Supreme Court, who, however, referred the trial back to the first court for additional examination. If she wins this trial, this will be the first case and the first country where public insurance covers stem cell treatment. Slovenia is in the European Union. This would also be a signal for other public insurance, and the door to stem cell treatment would open to many more children in need. I want to thank his mother for her endless courage and willingness to give her son a normal life. You can see through the sun the trick with the cubicle on.